I'm Randy Youngman, and the Register team is getting ready to cover the Angels Red Sox playoff series. I'm here with Mark Saxon and Bill Plunkett, and I want to know what, if anything, makes you think this year will be any different. Uh, the Red Sox have, have been always eliminated the Angels. What, if anything, is going to be different? Uh, I'll take the bullet here and, and pick the Angels in this series just because I peeked at our, uh, at our file and noticed that Bill was probably going to go the other way. So, uh, you know, I think they have the law of averages in, the, in their favor. You know, you, you play a certain number of times, they're, they're, they're bound to win one series, right, against these guys. Um, and I also think that the Red Sox uh, pitching is a little bit banged up right now. If Josh Beckett isn't totally right, that's a big, that's a difference maker in this series. Bill, what do you think? Well, I have a hard time picturing it changing this year. Uh, if the Angels were ever going to break this jinx, I thought it would have been last year. They had the home field advantage, uh, 100-win team for the first time in you know franchise history. They added Mark Teixeira, and they went down, went out there against the uh, Red Sox, lost the first two at home, lost again. Uh, I think two areas, big concern this year, one of them the bullpen. Uh, it's probably the weakest bullpen they've taken into the playoffs uh, since Mike Sosha has been manager and in the playoffs so many games are decided in the sixth, sixth seventh and eighth inning window uh, before you even get to your closer so I think that works against them. Uh, if they have a, an advantage it's like uh, Mark said it's the starting pitching. Uh, I think a huge key will be how John Lackey and Jared Weaver do in the first two games at home. In a short series do you think there's more pressure on the team with home field advantage to win especially in a five game series? You know, I mean, people talk about all the different scenarios. To me, what I've seen in the playoffs and, you know, in the last couple decades is none of that stuff holds up. I mean, I've seen, I've seen a team, I, I covered a team that went into Yankee Stadium, won two games there, came home and blew the series. You know, but to me, because of the mental atmosphere of this series, the history, those, two, those first two games are absolutely key for the Angels. Yeah, I think the Angels' history at Fenway Park makes it absolutely essential that they win <laughs> at least one, if not both of the, the games, one and two at home. Uh, the way they've handled the, the pressure of Fenway Park in the past, they do not want to go into Fenway needing to win a game. Uh, if you get, uh, you get one or two here, at least you know, you know you're, you're living beyond the game three in Fenway for the first time or the third time out of the four they've met. Uh, so I, I think it may be true that home field advantage doesn't uh, isn't a huge factor in the playoffs. Normally, there is nothing normal about playing at Fenway Park. For, for the first time in a long time, the Angel offense has been better than the pitching. Um, do you think that in a short series, the Angels can generate enough offense to make up for their weak bullpen? I think they have to. I mean, if you look at, I think it's been a shock the number of runs they, they've scored this year. They set a team record. Um, you know, it's where they get it is balance in the lineup. You know, they had a number nine hitter who was hit, hit better than 300. So they're going to have to score a lot of runs in this series, I think, I think to, to hold up in the latter innings. Okay, quickly, uh, since we're getting the high sign, uh, your predictions for the series. Red Sox in five. I'll take uh, Angels in four. Okay, for all your register coverage, go to ocregister.com slash sports.